Oh, yeah. There we go. All right, Chris Pena here with Rockwall County Game Day. We are here with, uh, it's a very big day for Michael James, the uh, senior, the former kicker. He's still at school, but uh, you're still in school, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The, uh, the kicker for uh, Rockwall, the Rockwall Yellow Jackets. Um, today's a big day, and it's because he's going to be continuing his kicking career at UCLA. Uh, Michael, first off, congratulations on UCLA. Tell us uh, why UCLA. I know, I know you had a, an offer from TCU and some other smaller schools that were coming in. Uh, why UCLA and why now? The state of California is just beautiful. And I've always dreamed of going to a school like UCLA since I was little and the opportunity presented itself. And um, I just really, I just jumped on it. I couldn't see a better way out than to uh, go in and compete for a starting job in the Pac-12. And um, I want to talk a little bit about the entire recruiting process right. and, um, and how that went for you uh, as it, it seemed like you started picking up some steam later. Um, but tell us about that recruiting process, if you could, Michael. So with UCLA, it actually aroused pretty late as to when I was planning on making my decision. I was um, it just started last weekend, about a week ago today. I, I got a call from um coach young the director of player personnel at ucla and he was just like man i've i've been watching your talent i've been i've just been looking over you for a while and um i just wanted to let you i just wanted to ask if there was any interest in coming to ucla and i was like i was like i mean yeah i mean that that school's insane and i can't believe you reached out and um from there we just kept continuing to talk and eventually the offer came up and i jumped on it um, and it sounds like, you know, obviously you, your, your mind was made up pretty quick. I mean, uh, and I, no, no doubt I can see why, right? UCLA is a, an amazing school. I want to ask you, though, during, you know, your recruiting, I mean, you were, you were putting out a, a ton of videos. You were working out a lot uh, on, on uh, social media and things like that. During that time, what were you hearing from, from coaches and scouts that were evaluating your talent? Um, I had many schools reach out, uh, not to like obviously try and brag, but um, just schools reached out and there were a lot of coaches that were really impressed. But the thing is with specialists is in a lot of scenarios, all they can really offer you is a preferred walk on spot because they've already used up all their scholarships on offensive and defensive players. So when they kind of present themselves with that opportunity, and it's not a school I'm really interested in playing in, especially not on scholarship. I just kind of like not like shoot but I just I, I come clean with them and tell them I'm not interested so I only really announced opportunities that I was interested in and um I just didn't I didn't bluff with coaches and um just a lot of a lot of great things heard from a lot of coaches and I'm more than happy to hear that and I'm glad to know that the hard work paid off I want to ask you about what part, and this, this could help uh, other kids that are trying to be recruited, what part did social media play in you being recruited? Um, you know, you were very active on there and, and, and you know, showcasing your talents. Uh, is that a tool that should be used by, by young athletes? Oh, absolutely. I mean, nowadays, Twitter is the best way to get your name out to coaches. I mean, every almost every coach in the country is on Twitter and um, just – it just find good film get highlights on there and um tag coaches and schools you're interested in get dms out almost weekly to the coaches you you want to hear back from and schools that you want to play for in the future and um yeah no doubt twitter is it's for me been the biggest role in my recruiting and if i hadn't used it i doubt i would even have any offers I, I want to ask you about, um, because you've been doing, it uh, seems like you've been kicking a lot. How much have you improved over the past few months, uh, you know, since you've just, uh, the seasons for you guys have been over and you've just been focusing on, on, on that? So I've been training in Lovejoy with a lot of big talent guys. And um, it's, his name's Coach Brian Egan. And he's, he's kind of been my mentor and my coach. He kicked at Mississippi State. And um, he's... I mean, I, I owe a lot of my improvement to him. He's made me a better kicker for sure. And um, I've just been working with him since last summer. And that's where the big improvement has came in. And um, I couldn't thank him enough for everything he's done for me. Um, you know, Michael, I, uh, you know, we've, we've gotten to know you a little bit and uh, we've been impressed with uh, everything you've done. And, uh, you know, we appreciate, you know, when you tag us and, 
and uh, show, show off the videos. We, we appreciate everything. We wish you all the best, man. Congratulations uh, on UCLA. And, uh, you know, we, we hope uh, we, we hope that uh, you, you keep kind of keep up with us and we'll keep up with you and we'll uh, we'll uh, make sure to get all your highlights out. And uh, we wish you the best of luck competing for a job at UCLA. Of course, no doubt. And I appreciate y'all for everything y'all done. All right. Man. Are- hey, well, we're going to let you go and uh, enjoy your enjoy your weekend. And uh, again, congrats. And uh, we'll talk again soon. All right, I appreciate it. Go Bruins. Right, thanks.